Hey guys, what's up? I am back with a brand new video and it's time to do a check out the performance of the Samsung Galaxy A52 S 5G against the Poco X3 Pro. You guys requested this a lot and the Poco X3 Pro has a Qualcomm Snapdragon 860 processor with 8 GPU of RAM while on the A52 S 5G we have a Snapdragon 778G 5G chipset with 8 GPU of RAM. Also the A52 S 5G it is a more expensive phone as compared to the Poco X3 Pro here in Pakistan on the back we have quad cameras on both phones we have 48 megapixel main camera while on the A52s we have a 64 megapixel main camera which also has a optical image stabilization then we have 8 megapixel ultra wide and a 2 megapixel depth sensor and a 2 megapixel macro on the A52s 5G we have a 12 megapixel ultra wide we also have 5 megapixel macro and a 5 megapixel depth sensor and both phones also has a dual speakers with headphone jack as well so in this video, I'm gonna show you how much the difference between an A52s 5G with their Qualcomm Snapdragon 778G 5G chipset versus a Snapdragon 860 inside the XC Pro. Also, the back is made up of plastic on both phones as well as the frame of this phone. On the front, we have a Korean Gorilla Glass version 5 on the A52s, while on the XC Pro, we have a Korean Gorilla Glass version 6. Without any wasting time, let's get right into it. Now, let's quickly boot both of these phones up at the same time. Here we go and the logo is here more faster on the A52s 5G and also we have Android 11 on both phones we have MIUI version 12.5 while on the A52s 5G we have a Samsung One UI version 3.1 MIUI and you can see and the A52s 5G more faster when it comes to putting up as compared to the X3 Pro about 1 or 2 second difference between these two devices now let's talk about the displays between these two devices we have a 6.5 inch display on the A52s 5G full HD Super AMOLED display with 120Hz refresh rate on the A52s 5G while on the Poco X3 Pro we have a 6.67 inch Full HD IPS LCD display with 120Hz refresh rate as well and both phones also has a punch hole it's more bigger on the Poco X3 Pro as compared to the A52s and also the Poco X3 Pro it is a more heavier phone as compared to the A52s because we have 4500mAh battery size while on the X3 Pro we have 5100 and 60 mAh battery size. I have a 33 watt fast charging. While on the A52s 5G, we have a 15 watt fast charging. A52s 5G also support a 25 watt fast charging. And guys, everything is closed up in the background. No application is running in the background. Now let's see phone dialer. Faster on the A52s 5G. So next on the list is the settings launching at the same time. Faster on the A52s 5G. Now let's go to the display. And you can see we have 120Hz refresh rate on both phones. We have IPS LCD display versus a Super AMOLED display. So that's really huge difference. Now let's see Amazon shopping on both phones. Like always, again we have Snapdragon 860 versus a Snapdragon 778G 5G. Little bit more faster on the X3 Pro. Now let's see the scrolling. Very smooth on both phones. We have 120Hz refresh rate. No lag whatsoever on both phones in the 120Hz. Let's see Candy Crush Saga some games application and you can see that the snapdragon 860 is more faster as compared to the a52s 5g also we have two speakers here are the speakers of the poco x3 pro and you can see now let's see the speakers on the a52s 5g and you can see and the speakers on the x3 pro has a more bass which is not available on the a52s 5g instagram faster on the a52s let's see pin out Again faster on the Poco X3 Pro as you can see. Let's see Snapchat faster on the A52s 5G. Let's see Spotify. That is again faster. Let's see Subway Surfer. And the Subway Surfer should be more faster on the X3 Pro. But yes, more faster there. But the, at the end, A52s 5G faster there. So that's really surprising. Now let's quickly launch the PUBG Mobile on both phones launching at the same time and you can see weird thing on the XC Pro and XC Pro faster there and you can see which is obvious because we have Snapdragon 860 and like heavy stuff XC Pro faster there you can see XC Pro is done and the A32 S5G also right behind there about half second difference there 
yes and the game performance it is much better on the xc pro because we have a smooth graphics with extreme frame rate which is also available in the balance hd hdr extreme frame rate while on the a52s we also have a smooth graphics with extreme frame rate after that we have ultra frame rate in the balance hd hdr which does not have any ultra hd on the a52s 5g which is available on the xc pro let's see temper and two on both phones last game application we have in the speed test and it is also faster on the a52s 5g but not a huge difference about half second difference there and you can see half a second difference there now let's opening up the router faster on the a52s 5g zedge and faster again on the a52s 5g and you can see so now let's see the scrolling very smooth on both phones no lag whatsoever 120 hertz refresh rate madness on both phones so last time we launching the cameras on both phones the four camera app now let's see that which one is going to be the fastest one that is exactly the same on both phones on the front we have a 20 megapixel selfie camera while on the a52s we have a 32 megapixel selfie camera now let's see internet browser speed i am seeing the fast samsung internet browser on the a52s 5g while on the xc pro we have a google chrome now let's see wikipedia.org that is very similar on both phones now let's see the scrolling again more smoother obviously on the a52s 5g because on the xc pro i didn't see i didn't see 120 hertz refresh rate madness in the google chrome now let's open the english that is very similar on both phones let's see the scrolling again yes obviously more smoother on the a52s 5g let me show you and you can see xc pro a52s no 120 hertz madness next on the list is the apple.com apple.com also faster on the a52s 5g so now let's see the scrolling that is face exactly the same on both phones yes i can see the 120 hertz refresh rate madness on both phones so guys now let's see ram management on both phones and both phones has a 8 gp of ram let's see phone dialer no refresh let's see settings no refresh amazon shopping and that card refresh on the xc pro let's see candy crush saga refresh instagram refresh let's see pin out refresh so ram management it is really bad on the xc pro let's see snapchat refresh let's see spotify same result let's see subway suffer refresh again let's see tamper and two refresh let's see the tutor that is refresh zedge refresh on the xc pro last way back to the internet browser where we left and you can see and cast over up to say regarding the app's opening speed as you can see that sometimes the xc pro is perform is perform more faster in the game app during time as compared to the a52s 5g you can see that most of the time the a52s 5g is perform more faster there in terms of the ram advice and the a52s 5g is perform really good in the ram management no refresh while on the xc pro we have a lot of refresh and that's about it and thank you so much for watching this speed test comparison between the samsung galaxy a52s 5g versus the poco xc pro poco xc pro it is a really good phone it has qualcomm snapdragon 860 which is a really good chipset for gaming also it is a lot cheaper phone as compared to the a52s 5g and follow me on instagram and twitter as well and i will see you in my next video Peace out.